Hey, this is Terry Bean coming at you with my good friend, Jeff Bajoric. He and I have got this amazing trip planned at the end of July. And this little podcast today is going to talk about that. We're going to cover what the experience is, what the learning is going to be about, and more importantly, what the golfing is going to be about. Jeff Bajoric, how you doing, man? Morning, Terry. Good to be hey, here. Happy Monday, bud. Happy Monday. So... We've got this amazing trip that you conjured up. Uh, we're going to cover some leadership. We're going to cover some networking. And most importantly, we're going to cover some golf. Yes. So let's talk about, is this a golf trip or is this a training trip? I think it depends on who's asking. But uh, this, I talked to you. You and I sat down in January. We kind of ran through some ideas about what we could do. And uh, I've told you this before. I've told some other people. I have three rules in my house. One is take responsibility for yourself and anything that you can control. Two is do interesting things. And three is be generous. Well, this falls under the do interesting things category. So it, I do workshops. I consult with some companies, small, medium-sized businesses, and I also do these workshops um, as they're as they become available and uh, as I get people interested. And one of the things that I wanted to do when I started my business was I wanted to be able to work and golf and make the two work together as much as they possibly could. So when I was driving in my car one day, and I often have my best ideas when there's no radio, no music or anything on, I'm driving in my car, and I'm like, Forest Dunes. Yes, <laughs> they've got a great little situation in the clubhouse. There's a private room. There's room for about 20 people, which is a really great size for a group because it's big enough to where you can engage a network. It's a big enough network to be valuable to people, but it's also a small enough group where you can still get some really good interaction. Because I think the best part of courses, you can sit in a classroom with 200 people and then you're going to have people dozing off, you're going to have people checking their phone, whatever it is. But when you've got a group of 20, there's a lot of interactivity between the group and then the group kind of elevates itself in terms of the experience that's provided. So let's see, really good size group, best golf in the world, two and a half hours north of here, I got to do it. And so you and I were talking about it in um, in January, and uh, what I wanted to do is bring you in because you're an expert networker and an expert speaker on networking. Uh, you may have or may not have written a couple of books on the subject, and I think that you'd be a great addition to the um, to the experience. So you're going to talk a little bit about networking um, in the afternoon, July 25th. We're going to have a little cocktail reception, strolling hors d'oeuvre kind of dinner. I'm a better speaker when people are drinking, too. People seem to enjoy me much more after that. <laughs> like a two-drink minimum, in fact. There we go. Here all week. So we've got the cocktail hour, and then the next morning, we're going to put the pause button on golf just for a second because we're here to get some work done. But we're, I'm going to take essentially a, a day-long workshop that I do, and I'm going to split it in half. And so we're going to talk about attitude in the morning, and then we're going to play golf. And then we're going to come back have dinner and we're going to go out on Wednesday morning. We're going to finish that workshop on attitude as quickly as possible. So we can go hit some golf balls and get out on the, the course again. Forest Dunes is my favorite place to play in the world. They're getting a bunch of press lately because later this summer, uh, ironically, right about the time we're supposed to be there, they're opening up a golf course, a very new golf course, uh, a new old concept it's a golf course that will be played both ways. So clockwise on one day, counterclockwise the next day. Radical design. It's been all over Golf Channel. It's going to be really, really cool. I'm really excited. So an opportunity to do all that stuff, um, I, I had to take it. That's so flipping cool. I can't. Uh, I hope that I don't know if that's going to happen before we're there or not. But this is the kind of course that I think people are going to be like, wait a second. A, this is in Michigan, only a few hours away from my house. Right. Right. That's mind blowing in and of itself. I've actually played this track once, mm -hmm. and 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 when I played it, I went up and I played the Dream on a Tuesday, and I was like, "Wow, I can't believe this course is in Michigan." I played Tree Tops on Wednesday and was like, "Holy crap, this course is even better than the one before." I can't believe this is in Michigan. <laughs> and then the next day, we played Forest Dunes, and it was better than those two combined. And again could not believe anything even remotely looked like that in Michigan. Uh, I bring a rake. I mean, just 
right? <laughs> Bring a rake, maybe two. <laughs> By dunes, <laughs> what they mean is lots and lots of dunes. There's some forest. Yes. There are plenty of dunes. Yes. That's right. It's not forests dune it's <laughs> forest dunes so yeah bring a rake um out there that's cool holy cow is it cool though actually the you can google and look at some images of forest dunes and it's it's just stellar so let's back up for a second sure you've got two days you know four hour sessions of leadership give us an idea what you're going to cover and talk about in there so uh, leadership and attitude really work hand in hand. And I think that any leader who leads by example sets that example with the tone that they bring into work every day, with the tone they bring to the phone calls when they call and check up on you, whether it's a manager, a C-level um, executive, or just the guy sitting next to you going out and getting his face kicked in, making sales the same way you are, right? It, the, the thing that keeps you going when adversity presents itself is your positive attitude. So I believe that those leadership and attitude are not necessarily interchangeable, but they absolutely run hand in hand. So one of the things and one of the reasons that I put the idea together this way was that attitude and networking are kind of the unsung heroes, the intangibles, the building blocks to any business. You need to have a great set of core belief principles to do what you're doing, whether you're just in sales, say just in sales, right? Or you are the owner of your company. And just so in sales, says the sales trainer. I'm and just I, a salesman. Don't worry. Just a sales trainer. Just a sales. <laughs> hey, and I'm sorry for teeing you up with the word leadership. And I and I keep calling this leadership. But I don't think that's that bad of a slip, Terry. Right. The to your point. Interchangeable. They're so intertwined. Intertwined, so not interchangeable, right? So both. So the yeah, um, so kind of putting together those foundations of any business. Um, I think we'll get a nice diverse mix of people. I think the network itself will have some value. And I believe that uh, the golf definitely has some value. But this is a workshop that is based on the little gold book of Yes Attitude, uh, which was written 10 years ago this year, actually, by a guy named Jeffrey Gittimer. Um, I'm a Gittimer certified advisor, so I use his material because it's really been the foundation for my success and my belief system going forward with sales and business development. And uh, it's really, really great stuff. So I've got a really good workshop. It's interactive. It's on a digital platform. Everybody participates via an iPad. There are online and you know cloud-based uh, exercises and message boards and things. It's a really, really unique and dynamic experience. It's, it's something that really nobody else offers right now. And uh, we get to hear you for a couple hours on Monday evening. Yeah, because that's definitely an added bonus. Everybody knows that, clearly. Um, you know what? I actually went through this experience with you, right? So mm -hmm. I, I went through half the day of the yes attitude, and I really enjoyed the interaction, right? We did it with a small group. There are only like eight or nine of us in the room. Yeah. But it was, and you kind of, in the nicest way possible, took us to task a little bit, right? There was, if, if attitude was off, if thoughts were off, you weren't, you weren't too shy to say, hey, maybe what if you thought about it this way? Right. So you added a ton of value and get videos popped up uh, four or five times in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And so he was sharing and it was kind of like he was there, too. And I really thought it was well done. And that was pre digital. Right. Because right? it was two months ago. This digital thing is Brandon. so new that I two months ago didn't have the opportunity to see it. Yes, that, that, that's correct. It's brand new. Um, it's constantly being updated. I'm on. I'm part of the early launch team, so we're providing some feedback and making it better every single day. By July, this thing's going to be in a tremendous place. It's really, really good right now, but some of the stuff that's going to be released soon is, is going to be really, really special. So this is going to be an interactive experience unlike any you've ever had as a participant in a workshop, and we're going to do it in a beautiful setting up north. It's July in northern Michigan. If you're not from Michigan, you don't get it. And people, oh, yeah. I've, I've worked with people all over the country, I've worked with people all over the world, and they think that this is just the great white north. And although it's April 3rd, 
third, fourth. <laughs> and uh, well, April 3rd, it was 30 degrees and snowing. Um, you know, come July, you get north of Flint and it's special. And anybody from Michigan knows that. So we get to spend a couple of days. It's really, it's legitimately work, but we're going to have a lot of time for a little bit of reflection. We're going to have time for some networking. We're going to have time for really 36 holes over a couple of days. And um, it, it's going to be a really nice retreat for anybody who's interested in building a business and playing golf in Michigan. And there'll be some decent food too. This place oh, does a nice job with the catering. Yes, no, the 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 food is top notch. The golf is unparalleled. And uh, hey, we get to listen to you for a couple hours on Monday afternoon. Yeah, so I'm going to talk a little bit about networking and get people better connected, right? And help people really dial into what their targets look like, how to communicate how what they're looking for specifically because a lot of people when they're networking right they think that it can only happen at a networking event oh, right. and that's right that's a complete and total fail oh yeah and when you take the right approach to networking which i like to refer to as an after you approach mm -hmm. right where i'm learning about you before i'm telling you about me because i genuinely care about you sure i recognize that networking doesn't happen until there's some give and get Right. You know, when we do that right, you can do it everywhere, anywhere you're anytime you're there. Right. So oh, it's a 24 yeah. seven contact sport if you take the right attitude and approach to it. So we're going to cover all of that. And we'll talk a little bit about how to do it in the real world. We'll talk about how to do it online. We'll talk about how to do it and why to do it and really just some of the best, best practices for it. It'll Absolutely. be a good time. Absolutely. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it, man. All right, so it's July 25th through July 27th. We're going to get up there Monday afternoon. We're basically going to go right into this kind of networking workshop, and we're going to dovetail that into some cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. Yes. And then Tuesday, Tuesday morning, we get up. You do attitude for four hours. We do lunch. Then we hit the links. Yes. And then we play, and then we do dinner, and then they're kind of free to do their own thing. Yeah, but they're going to be wiped out by the time that happens, right? It's uh, now some have more stamina than others, but um, and there I'm not going to. And this may not be for everybody, but there's a big bonfire pit with a bunch of chairs around it, and they'll they will stoke that fire for you, and they will bring drinks right out onto the patio if you're so inclined to do so. If you're not, we've got the new villas that are just 50 yards from the first tee box that were uh, that are reserved that we're going to be staying in. And uh, it's just a, it's a really cool place. It's in the middle of absolutely nowhere. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, if he had a zip code, it would be near Ross Common. Yeah. And this place is just special. And and I, I'm partial to Michigan golf courses, but this place is this is really really amazing. And so then we'll continue on after that. Finish the workshop Wednesday morning. You get a, you grab your box lunch, head out to the golf course. And uh, you're kind of dismissed at that point. Finish up your round and head home. You'll be ready to rock on Thursday morning. Awesome, man. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to it. And so they'll be able to find more specific information because you're gonna you're gonna put in the link right now in the send a message box. Hey, yeah. Stephen. Quick question: When the recording shows, will they be able to see this link or not? And I don't know if you're paying enough attention, Stephen, to hear your name called. No, thank you. You are perfect. Okay, so we're going to have to put this link all over the place. So we'll make cool. sure when we embed this video, we'll share the link that you just shared, Jeff. Thank well, you, Stephen. And, and for those watching on the video, you can go to my website. It's parabolasales.com. Parabola like high school geometry. If you can't remember that far, we'll make sure the link is embedded. But it's parabolasales.com slash hire me slash little gold book um you can the menu is pretty interactive on the website you can just go there to the hire me section you'll pull down the uh the little drop down menu there it'll go to the little gold book you can click that and then you'll see the whole setup for the uh for the course and i think what i'll do is once i get the link to be able to embed this podcast i'll put that on the website as well Perfect. And then we'll have it set up as a Facebook event that'll be golf and learn in pure Michigan. Love it. So we'll make it so you can sign up or register right there. So we'll put that together as well. So you can look it up there, but I'm excited. Anything else we need to cover about this bad boy? I think that's it. Um, the first eight people to sign up actually get a 25% discount. 
so they uh, should hurry up early registration we want to get some people uh people involved and uh this is the first time we're doing it so I, i'm i'm not terry you know me i'm i'm not big on discounts right okay, what we're providing is going to be valuable it's definitely valuable and when you consider that um all the food your lodging your golf that is all included in the price of this workshop um, it almost hurts me a little bit to give a discount. So I don't know if we'll do this next year when we have so much more interest. But uh, the the 25 percent for the first eight people that sign up and uh, we're ready to rock. Perfect, man. Perfect. Perfect. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys for paying attention. Stephen, thanks for the answer. We're going to stop the recording. John, if you want to hop in, that would be great. And I'll talk to you guys real, real soon. Awesome.